What is the number one rule for strength training? The number one rule for strength training is consistency. Now, yes, of course, consistency in training. In other words, getting to the gym. Why is that the number one rule? And beware, this is not actually the major topic of this video here, but of course, consistency is the number one rule for your actual training because you can have the greatest programming in the world, you can have the greatest technique in the world, and those things are very important. But without consistency, if you're only consistently making it to the gym two times a week, and you're supposed to be making it to the gym three times a week, right, that's a problem. You can have the greatest greatest programming, the greatest technique in the world. If you're not showing up to train, it does you no good. It's got to start with consistency. That being said, today we're talking about that number one rule, consistency, and how it applies to the things that support your training, specifically your recovery, even more specifically your sleep and your nutrition. Now I get it, it's not novel, it's not exciting. It's not sexy. But it is very important. Here's a common situation. We're going to focus mostly on the nutritional aspect and specifically on the protein aspect just to make it real simple. We're not going to focus a whole lot on sleep. Sleep is extremely important, but I get it. If your schedule is such, you're working 12 hour shifts or you got small kids or something like that, I realize sleep sometimes is a real difficult thing to dial in. Training is the easiest thing to dial in, just showing up. Let's start next with nutrition, all right? So here's a common situation. Now, if we could only, if I could only assign, when I'm programming someone's uh, nutrition for them, if I could only assign a certain amount of protein, one number for women and one number for men. Now granted, actually it's going to vary. There are more details that go into this. For example, the older we get, the more protein we need, but let's keep it simple, right? Let's say I can only apply one number for protein to women and one number for protein to guys. And I'm not the first person to come up with these numbers by a long shot. You'll see these numbers tossed out there. I would assign 150 grams of protein every day for females, and I would assign 200 grams of protein every single day for men. And here's a, here's a sample situation, right? We got Billy Bob coming into the gym. We're going to use Billy Bob because I don't know anybody named Billy Bob. All right, he comes into the gym and he's been trying for a while. We've had to talk about how important protein is. He's been trying to get in protein for a long time, a real long time, like months. And finally, just the other day, he hit 200 grams of protein. In fact, he did it for like two days in a row, right? He comes into the gym and for whatever reason, he had, he had kind of a rough, training, a rough training session. It didn't go the way that he wanted. We're going to have this conversation. He's going to come up to me. He's like, man, I don't understand. Like yesterday and the day before, I hit my protein. I thought it would really go well. First of all, good for Billy Bob. This is absolutely the right steps, the right step to start taking towards dialing it in from a nutritional standpoint. But second of all, it doesn't matter nearly as much what you've done in the last day or two. It's not the 200 grams of protein that he's hit in the last day or two that's gonna make a difference on this training session that's just happened. It's all of the protein that he consumed or didn't consume over the last days, weeks, months, right? You don't show up for the day of your, your semester exam in math and calculus and you're like, man, I studied, I studied so much yesterday, but meanwhile, you haven't attended class all semester, right? It's what you've been doing over the long haul that's going to matter more than what you just did acutely just over the last day or two. Now, again, this doesn't mean that hitting protein for the last day or two doesn't matter. It absolutely does, but that's a step in the right direction. Consistency is key. So if you're wondering where to start, this is what I would tell you, and this is a conversation that we, that we have with a lot of people. Just start with protein. Don't worry about your carbs. Don't worry about your fat. Let's just start with protein and track what you're eating. Just track your protein. Track it for three to five days. Look at the individual numbers, of course, but then also look at your averages, all right? Let's say you're a guy and you're hitting, or a gal, and you're hitting 100 grams of protein every single day, and you're that gal and you're trying to get up to 150, and you're that guy and you're trying to get up to 200, let's say, all right? Those are just numbers I'm tossing out there. All right, now, now, if, you are, if you're at 100, you're going to try to make the jump to 150 or to 200, you're probably going to fall flat on your face. You might be able to do it. It's going to require planning. It's going to re require planning anyway. But what I would suggest is run a little linear progression on your protein. In other words, the next week, if you've been consistently hitting 100, this next week, try to hit 110 grams for at least six out of those seven days. Really try for seven out of seven days, but try for six out of seven days. Once you can do that consistently, then try for 120 grams on a regular basis. Once you can do that, try for 130. Over time, this will make a big difference in your ability to recover between sessions. Consistency is key. It's the number one rule in strength training. As always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.